What's going on YouTube? I'm here with my buddy Mike. We're gonna do some some carb fishing. We got some dog food here. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. Catching carp on dog food. We got the chum right here. He's got a hair rig. Rigging it up right. Yeah. Arguably the best carp bait. Yeah. Also, I was here a couple of days ago. This huge tree fell where I was fishing before, so luckily it didn't fall on me. Might have to come back and clear it out. If not, then I guess we're not fishing here anymore. All right, so for the rig, we're gonna tie a good sized barrel swivel to our braided main line. We're running about a 20 to 30 pound braided main line and we're gonna tie a polymer knot to the swivel. First, we're gonna put on our egg sinker though. Two to three ounce uh, lead egg sinker. Painted black. Carp are a little sensitive to flashy colors on the bottom. So everything we're gonna use for terminal tackle and hooks is gonna be black. Um, so then we're gonna tie a palma knot to our swivel. Next, <clears throat> we're gonna peg our lead using a rubber band. Snip the rubber band. You're gonna take a little piece of mono or whatever, a uh, little piece of fishing line, make a loop in it, and thread these two tag ends through your lead until you have a little loop right there. You're going to put your elastic right in that loop, even on each side, and you're going to pull the loop to pull that elastic down into the egg sinker. Okay, I'm going to scoot. Yeah, yeah, show that to the camera. Yeah. You're going to scoot your elastic down. Put your weight right up to the sinker, snip off the elastic, carefully you got your main line there, snip off the elastic, take out this old piece of mono and then you got a pegged egg sinker. Next we're going to work on tying up our hair rigs. So we've got an egg sinker pegged on, we got a barrel swivel here, we're going to work on tying up our hair rig. So we've got a size 8 G carp um, hook by Gamagatsu. And we're gonna tie a hair rig. Um, so you feed it through the back end of your hook like this. Then you wanna get your bait. And we're running two doggy biscuits. Classic uh, configuration, two doggy biscuits. Um, just like this, so you're gonna measure your hair rig. You want it right at the end of the hook. We've got a lot of snags here, so. We like to run the hair rig tight right up to the hook. So I got it through the back. I'm gonna make um, about 10 wraps. Then I'm gonna take my tag end back. I'm gonna feed it back through the front of the hook. Cinch that up tight and then I have a little loop where I'm gonna put my bait on the end. So then I'm gonna tie this the main swivel because then I have this and that's about a six inch leader that is very short but we have a lot of snags and I don't want anything wrapping up and these fish really aren't that line shy so the last step is to feed on your bait onto your hook now this is a five about a five odd deep throat EWG Gamagatsu, it doesn't really matter because we're just using this as a bait needle for our dog biscuits. I pre-drilled hole in, holes in these. <clears throat> pre-drilled holes in those, but they're a little small, so I'm going to make them bigger with a toothpick. Make them bigger with a toothpick, and then we thread them on, and we use this as a bait needle. They make bait needles, but... And a dog biscuit, right?
Yeah, we got one line out there right now. There's a lot of action out on the water. We keep seeing ripples everywhere, so hopefully we catch something. We're gonna check that bait after we finish tying this one and then throw this one out. So you thread it on like that and then you have your loop on the end of the line. But you can just throw this, hook this onto the barb, now you caught on. And then you just switch your doggy biscuit over right on there and then it falls off on you. <laughs> But let's see if I can cheat. You can it. actually buy hair rigs and bait needles, but we like to do it the old yeah, fashioned way. You can buy it on what is it? Uh big bigcarptackle.com. But these hooks are uh, chemically sharpened. These they're chemically sharpened. <laughs> okay. Then we have this on here, and we're just gonna use toothpicks for stops to make Stops too, but where'd that go? Right here. Right there. Um, just put this through the loop on the end of your line. And pull it up snug to it, and then you have a perfect hair rig with a pegged weight. And when he picks that up, he's going to set the hook on his own. And that's about it for the rig. Alright. So we got both of our rods in right now. Mike's chumming the water a bit more. Uh, we got our drag set really loose, that way when they pick it up, they'll just run, set the hook for themselves because of the, the weight of the lead. And then it'll kind of be like a fish alarm when our, our reel starts running. All right, so we haven't gotten any action yet besides a turtle trying to steal my bait. Mike's going to get our bass fishing stuff and We'll do a couple of casts while we wait for this. Caught our first fish. <laughs> nice little sunny. Hook deep. Gonna have to do some <laughs> surgery on her. <laughs> Caught our second one. Oh, come here. Get over here. <laughs> come here. Decent sized sunfish. Big dog. Big guy. Mike's hooked up with his third third sunfish right now I'm still trying to bait up my car hook this dog food is really stubborn oh, oh. oh yeah fish on baby Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, he got hooked up. This fish took this hook too deep, so I'm just gonna do the best thing for him. <laughs> yeah. Rain's coming in. Uh, we've only been out here for a little bit. Unfortunately, he didn't catch any carp on the dog food, but we'll be back soon. I think we can hook up with a with some dog food on our line. Uh, Mike caught a couple of sunfish though, I think four or five, right? Yeah, big yeah, dogs. Four or five. Um, they were all hanging out right here. This is where that kid was hand lining them too the other day. And uh, he was just destroying it. I think he caught like 10 or 11. All right guys, you've been watching Bass McReel. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.